Oh, boy, look what happened today. <laughs> the White House made up a new law. <laughs> and actually, this is pretty good. Actually, Trump gave the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, they're the people around the uh, COVID-19 stuff, authority to stop evictions during the pandemic. Now, let me read this article a little bit on this one because I like these people. Uh, now, it's, it's a temporary order. And what they're doing is that, uh, you know, because, you know, everybody's financially strapped, nobody has money, can't pay the mortgage, can't pay the rent, but this is just for rent. So, uh, and they estimate that 23 million people are going to be, you know, evicted soon. I mean, they just can't pay. Now, here's how the new law works. Now, this is the CDC. They enforce it because they don't want people running around the streets, you know, with COVID. So they feel people get evicted, they're going to spread the disease more. That's what gives them the power, I guess. You know. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer. I don't play one. <laughs> okay. In order to get assistance, renters earning less than $99,000 a year must report they are unable to pay their rent. Okay. So if you're making less than $99,000 a year, uh, you report to the CDC. I guess there'll be forms soon for all this stuff up because they just announced it. And you know, the White House, they go fire, ready, aim. So they haven't aimed it, <laughs> got ready yet. Uh, okay. So they're not on all the paper rent and are likely to become homeless if evicted. Okay, so that's what you have to verify. They must show that they've tried to obtain all government assistance currently available for rent or housing. So in other words, <laughs> you had to join, let's go help. Oh, no. Then you went out and tried to find programs that were already out there that help people pay their rent. And, and they just go very quickly. That's the problem. You know, uh, Virginia is going to have another round of, of rent that's going to be uh, grants given out for people to pay rent. And that's going to go about two, three days. And it's going to start in the next day or two. So find out about it. Uh, okay. Uh, or they're unlikely. To, okay, we, hey, okay, we, I said that. Uh, they must also show they tried to get all the government programs, okay? And that they were unable to make payments due to household income because they lost household income or due to layoffs or to extraordinary out-of-pocket medical expenses. So in other words, you lost your income, or you were laid off, or you had extraordinary out-of-pocket medical expenses. That's what makes you eligible for this, and your income is less than $99,000, okay? Now, they're saying that this may be a problem, because what about the landlords? They're expecting to pay their mortgage, and the banks won't get their mortgage. You know. It's, <laughs> It's going, my dad used to have this thing that he said his father started the recession. He was a shoemaker and, and he couldn't pay something. And then he didn't pay something and went out and caused the whole recession. I guess that's a recession joke back in the 1930s. OK, uh, now what do you do with that? OK, you, you'll see it all over the news tomorrow. Uh, and here's the official you know, wording from the CDC. It's called temporary halt in residential evictions to prevent further spread of COVID-19. Temporary halt in residential evictions to prevent the further spread of COVID-19. This is the report you wanna see it. I'm sure if you Google that, you could find it on the internet. Okay, the other thing that you wanna know is this, oh, where is it? Okay, this one, oh, yes. A website called Just Shelter. This is a nonprofit organization that pe helps people not be evicted, okay? They keep up on all of this. And what's neat about this, you go over on this side, look at community resources here, and you'll see a map of the United States. These are, look at, over 600 organizations that are there to help you with any of these worries about being evicted. So you push your state, you in Ohio, Here's all the organizations, phone numbers, websites, uh, everything, the contact information of all free legal help. These are other nonprofits. These people are all getting grants to help you solve that eviction problem for free. Or your rental. Maybe you haven't paid it three months. You don't know what the hell to do. This, these are sources and good sources. Not some banker wants to sell you money. These are people who know the law and know your options. Yeah. Uh, these are the people you want to contact because that's all they do. Help people like you have trouble 
paying money. I mean, look at Toledo Fair Housing Center. We specialize in that. You know, things like that. Look at all these. There, there's got to be a dozen, two dozen, just in Ohio alone. Okay, free. Okay, absolutely free. <laughs> they help you with those housing programs. So that's what you want to know. Okay, so it's a new benefit that you won't be thrown out of your house if you make less than $99,000. And if you lost income and uh, lost your job or, or have big medical expenses, okay. That's what that is about. It'll be all over the news. And here's where to find out to protect yourself. You're in the middle of some legal stuff. You wanna get some help? Okay, go to Just Shelter and then look at community resources, click on your state and get some real help. Now, again, you don't forget everybody's busy. <laughs> so sit on the phone for a half hour. So it takes an hour or whatever. I was helping somebody, a uh, friend died and trying to get burial assistance. I was on the phone on 211 for about 40 minutes, <laughs> but I was exercising, so it was fine. <laughs> but I got it, and they gave me the right number. Yeah, and that's what's it. So be patient. There's help out there. Uh, just don't expect it. Me. You want to pay some lawyer $400 an hour? You'll get it faster. Maybe. <laughs> but it's going to cost you. Okay. So justshelter.org. And no more worries about eviction if you can't pay the money, at least until December 31st.